So round two for Kai. Same thing again. First posture. Nice and relaxed. Holding that. It's a nice posture that. Looks secure. Looks solid. Second stage, get low, get right in deep, high, work on those sides. That's nice. That's good, mate. Getting that, you've improved from last time. That's nice. Just, again, being real finicky. You're finicky, finicky, finicky. Um, come round more. Yeah. A lot easier, a lot slower, a bit more hot holder, uh, longer, wider. Yeah, hold, yeah? Instead of like that. Long down, down, yeah, down. yeah, exactly. I, I come more like that. Yeah. That's why I prefer a, a wider bridge, stronger. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm always telling my jockeys, widen your bridge up here, widen your bridge, up, and then and then bring it in, narrow it again, and widen it. Yeah. We'll hold that for a bit. Hopefully this video stays. Yeah, that's good, that mate. I see. Going on nicely. Nice relaxing ease. Yeah. That's good. You can see, you can see what I'm after, can't you? And that is what I'm after. Nice. Just don't be too over the horse, though. You're, you're not. I know it's hard up your thighs, but I don't yeah. care. That's what it's all about. Don't be too far over the horse. You want to be coming, you know, you want to be behind. Yeah. yeah. Better. Better. Yeah, that's much better. Just dropping your bum down a little bit, and then you've got it just flattens off your back a little bit. You haven't got to have a flat back, obviously, going up the all weather on the racetrack all the time, but in these conditions we can get it as, as perfect as we can and it makes it all the easier on the track hold you couldn't you could not stay there long enough if you could do five minutes you do five minutes and i swear to god it just oh. and i'll say that every single time i hear myself saying it but you know that's what's necessary so that's what you're here for right so that's the second stage right same again just to repeat myself just remind you We'll go from a number back right round to a number, but increase it to the last 30 seconds of that number, it's like, a, like a winning post, yeah? Up the momentum, it's all about sustaining that energy to the line, and I want to see, I want to see a couple of sticks, a couple of slaps behind them. So we'll just go forward um, to the bit where, the third stage where you're pushing, and we'll have a little kind of look at your pushing style. So here, straight away, before you even get tired, we've got, that's all you're moving. Nice. That's all you're moving is there, fully, fully extended, to there, tucked up, where we want to get in the habit of using more of your shoulder, yeah? Really getting in behind, you know that ball of energy I'm always on about? So you've got to learn to use your shoulders more. But it's good because you're keeping your body nice and still, which is good. This part of your body staying relatively still. But that starts to sort of move a lot more when you get more tired. It's all about that core, the foundation of your body staying, staying, you know, uh, a, a lot stronger. Coming up to roughly two furlongs. Just coming to the two furlong marker now. Again, we've got a lot of uh, work to do on the stick action, but if I rewind it back, okay, so we go to use the stick. So always wave it and put it down, give the horse the chance to respond. There's nothing worse than going straight for the stick and being stick happy, nothing worse. It will cost you many rides. So we wave, we wave, and then what we need to learn to do is raise your shoulder higher, okay? And that's a definite, is raise your shoulder higher and we want to see a trigger point so you want to come further back past your let's have a look past your leg kind of to this point if not further before you then before you then go to strike we'll do that tonight but you're just if i rewind back you're waving waving and then you go to strike from here up where it should be a lot further back where that blue line is Okay, so we'll take that away and we'll just go through. Nice, it's slow but strong. Right, 
And there, do not get in that habit where you're looking. Your eyes are looking down, and you'll end up looking. You'll end up looking back round to where you're hitting the horse, which we do not want. That you need to be looking forward all the time. Are you front of you behind. Go on, pick it up. Fifteen seconds. Fourteen. Thirteen. Twelve. Eleven. Ten seconds. Nine. Eight. Seven. Again, there. Rewind back. Okay. Rewind back. Rewind back. Okay. You've gone to wave it, you're giving it one wave, or you've spun it, you're giving it one wave, two waves, three waves. You should really put it down in hands and heels, but even so, you've got to hit it straight away. But you're hitting, you're hitting straight from there. Rewind back, you're waving, you're waving, you're waving, and you spin your stick and you hit from there. You need to be coming back, just like I said before, to here. And that's then your, what I call a trigger before you go then to hit the horse behind the saddle. Fitness, 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 fitness. 